Today is September 18th, on which we commemorate Edward Bouverie Pusey, priest. Born in 1800, Edward Pusey received the best education available to him, and soon became a renowned academic in England. For 50 years he served as the Regis Professor of Hebrew at Christ Church, Oxford. It was, however, as a leader of the church renewal effort known as the Oxford Movement that Pusey would make his most important contributions to Anglicanism. Ordained in 1828, by 1833 Pusey had become a supporter of John Henry Newman, John Keeble, and the other English clergymen and theologians who were involved in writing a series of pamphlets designed to bring liturgical and missional renewal to the Church of England, known as the Tracts for the Times. He formally joined the so-called Tractarians two years later, when he himself published a tract. The sentiments of the Tractarians seemed dangerous to those that held power in the Church of England at the time. Their theology was considered overly Roman, and their passion for the poor was deemed unnecessarily enthusiastic. Pusey himself was barred from preaching after delivering a sermon entitled The Holy Eucharist, A Comfort to the Penitent in 1843. In the sermon, he revived the doctrine of the real presence of Christ at the Eucharist. 18,000 copies of the sermon were immediately sold upon news of his suspension. When John Henry Newman abandoned the Church of England and converted to Romanism in 1845, Pusey took on the mantle of leading the Oxford Movement thereafter often called Puseyism. His faithfulness and integrity to the Church of England demonstrated to the people that the Catholic faith could find full expression within Anglicanism, and feared mass conversions to Rome were avoided. In addition to his preaching, writing, and teaching, Pusey spent a good deal of his time and personal fortune building churches for the poor and founding sisterhoods to care for them. Over time, Many of Pusey's teachings and practices would cease to be controversial and actually become commonplace throughout the Anglican Communion. Edward Pusey may be greatly credited with reviving the liturgical and missional zeal of the early church in an Anglicanism that in many places had grown stolid, entrenched, and impassionate. He died on September 16, 1882. Let us pray. Grant, O God, that in all time of our testing we may know your presence and obey your will, that following the example of your servant Edward Pusey, we may with integrity and courage accomplish what you give us to do and endure what you give us to bear. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.